Hey, what's up everybody, Retro Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to manually scrape games in Bodicera using Screen Scraper. So in the past, I've done a full tutorial video on how to set up Screen Scraper, as well as how to do automatic scrapes, where you can set Screen Scraper to scrape your entire build or certain collections, and that works extremely well. But sometimes we run into issues where the wrong game's data gets populated in on the wrong title. So we have to go in and manually override that, make the necessary changes, or sometimes we run into issues where no data is found for certain titles. So nothing gets actually scraped and populated into our build. So I actually ran into that issue recently when I was setting up the Nintendo Wii U collection on Botticera. 90% of my games were not returning any sort of data in Screen Scraper, and it just boiled down to an issue with the titles of the ROMs that I was adding in. So I had to use this process that I'm gonna outline for you guys today in this video to go in and manually scrape those titles that were not automatically able to be found within Screen Scraper. So we're gonna dive into this. I'll walk you through the entire process. It's really simple. Let's dive into it. All right, so to walk you guys through this process today, we're going to be jumping into our Wii U collection here on Botticera because Wii U is one of those collections where actually you can see I've gone and scraped pretty much all of my titles except one at the bottom, which we're going to walk through today. But with Wii U, about 90% of these populate in with the wrong name. So you can see here, I'm highlighting this one that I just added in, and it says Gambit on here. And the name of this game is actually Splatoon. So... If we go through the process for scraping this, I'm just going to scrape this individual title here. So I'm just going to, I'm on my keyboard today, so I'm going to just hold down enter if you're on a gamepad controller. If you have like a PlayStation style controller, you're just going to hold down your X button. So I'm going to hold down enter here. It's going to bring up the options for this specific title. And if we go down to scrape and select scrape, it's going to try to scrape using the name of the file here, which again is saying Gambit. So we get a bunch of options here. There's actually a gambit right down here, but that's nothing to do with this particular title, which again is Splatoon. So what we need to do is, since none of these are going to populate in correctly for us, we're going to drop down to input down here. And I'm going to hit enter on here to select input. And now with my keyboard, I'm just going to backspace out the name gambit. And I'm going to type in Splatoon. Now I'll drop down to the on-screen keyboard, move over to the check on the right side there, and hit enter. Now you can see that it populates in perfectly because we went in and manually input the name. So all I have to do here, I have screen scraper set up on here, so all I have to do is select this top option here, and we're going to get the box art, we're going to get description, and a video preview. So there you go. Everything now is perfect in here didn't even have to update the games list or anything, it populated right in. And that's how I've done, again, 90% of these Wii U games, because for some reason it just has that quirky sort of um, renaming of the uh, titles in here. So I had to do that for, I think, only two of these actually populated in correctly, and the Zelda ones actually populated in, but they populated in wrong. So they were actually all the wrong titles. One of them, I think, actually populated in a completely different Zelda for a completely different collection. So that's how I've gone in and manually scraped. And you can do this for all different collections, not just Wii U. If you're running into an issue where for some reason you're not able to scrape, go down and do a manual input like this and type in exactly what the title is. And you're likely going to find it and be able to fully scrape it and get your video previews, descriptions, all that good stuff for Botticera. All right, guys, you can see firsthand, pretty simple process here to manually scrape your games for Botticera using Screen Scraper. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, feel free to hit me up in the comments section below. Always happy to help you guys out any way I possibly can. And if you need help setting up Screen Scraper on Botticera, or you want to learn about how to do those automatic scrapes I was talking about, then click the link in the description of this video to jump over to that full tutorial on setting up Screen Scraper in Botticera. I'll also put a link on screen right here. You can just jump up to the top of this video screen here and click the direct link. So that's gonna do it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. And of course, hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. That's gonna do it for today. Thanks for the support. I'll see you in the next video.